Welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. Well, I made a batch of Russian tea today and I forgot to film it as usual. This is where I keep it in Russian tea. And um, Russian tea. I can tell you how I make it. The first time I had Russian tea, we were uh, we had moved from Illinois to Florida. And of course in Florida, uh, there are people from all over the world, and we had a neighbor uh, that would invite us over for tea, and this is what she served. And it's an it was an a, a, <laughs> let me see if I can say it an acquired taste. When we first was invited, we would just sip on it, and it wasn't really good to us. But we you know was fellowshipping, and we would just sip on this tea. Well. After a while, we got to enjoying it, and we have been enjoying it ever since, and that was 1969. I was 15 years old, and uh, we've been making Russian tea ever since. Now, you can make Russian tea with orange juice, with uh, lemonade, with um, brewed tea, and with cloves. But over the years, we've got... It's just me that enjoys the tea. My daughter occasionally, my mom's gone now. My grandmother's gone. They enjoyed tea. Uh, most of my friends, uh, it's really sad. Uh, but anyway, there's not but me right now that's enjoying it. So I get instant tea with lemon. Or if you can't find instant tea with lemon, just get instant tea and then a, a container of Country Time Lemonade or you know, don't have to be country time. It could be another brand. So tea, lemonade, and tang, and cloves. And this container, and uh, I had two of these containers. One was the country time lemonade. One was the tang. I put both of the containers in a big bowl. Just emptied them both. Now my tea, I could not find a small instant tea container. So I got a large one, and it, it did like 30 gallon. So I put half of it. One of these did six gallon, one did eight gallon, and the tea did 30 gallons. So I put half of the tea, which would have been about 16 gallons, and both of these would have been about 16 gallons. So that's half and half, uh, tang, tea, and lemonade. And then I put this spoon, about two of those, of cloves, ground cloves. And mixed it up really good, and then I filled the containers. That filled these two containers completely to the top. And um, what you do is you just take a spoon or two to your taste. I'm going to put maybe one and a half. If I need some more, I can get some more. And I boiled a cup of water because, like I said, I started doing the instant because it's just me. Put a cup of water. Might put a little bit more. Probably two. And this is probably a tablespoon. And that is Russian tea. And that, my friend, is delicious. And cloves are so good for you. And a lot of people will put sugar in it. I find that the tang and the, the Country Time Lemonade, and it's not diet, so it's no artificial flavors. I find it is sweet enough, even with half of the unsweetened tea. I find that it's good, it, that's really wonderful and sweetened enough. But now, if you think it's not, you can add a spoon of sugar per cup. And that is Russian tea. And I have enjoyed it. Like I said, since 1969, I have shared it with friends. I've had to ship tea to a friend in Arkansas till I finally give her the recipe. I said, here. <laughs> she lived here in Mississippi at once when I got her hooked on Russian tea. She moved to Arkansas and had me send her tea. And um, I said, look, here's the recipe. Make it yourself. <laughs> and... Um, I've got a friend in Alabama that I don't know if um, 
I have not shared it with her yet. I don't know why. We've been friends for several years. But uh, we don't get together very often. And so uh, maybe next time I go, I will share this with her. And if she likes it, then uh, she can make it also. But she will see this video. And she can make it herself. And see if she likes it or not. And like I said, you can put, you know, a spoon or two spoons or three spoons, whatever your taste is per cup. And this is a wonderful tea. It's wonderful on these cold days. And like I said, cloves have so many nutritious things. Um, especially in the winter time with colds and flus and everything. And then here is some pure honey that you can put in. You can put some pure honey in it if it's not sweet enough for you. Or pure cane sugar. I would not get regular sugar. It's refined. But if it says cane sugar, it is just cane sugar. Sugar from the sugar cane. And it's not beet sugar and all this other sugar that, that uh, they mess with. But anyway, this is my Russian tea. And like I said, you could make it with orange juice. You could make it with uh, um, lemon juice. You can make it with just make you a, a lemonade and get some orange juice and brew some tea. And that would be fine, too. I just do it this way because it's just me and I don't have room. Uh, we're doing trying to do off-grid. So um, I can't keep fresh juices very long. And you know a container of orange juice and a container of lemon, you know, a, a pitcher of lemon tea. That's not going to last very long. So, I do it with an instant. And uh, it keeps for a long time. And I see in my phone that there's an ashtray here with some cigarette butts. I am over my daughter's. And some of them smoke. It's uh, her and her husband and her children. They don't smoke, but her husband and them smoke. So, anyway, there's some smokers here. Um, and I just realized that was in there, and I don't smoke. I have never smoked. I don't condone smoking, and I'm sorry that was in the picture. But anyway, this is Homesteading the Pioneer's Way, saying keep homesteading. <laughs>